Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So recently, I got some pretty interesting inside information when it comes to Manny Pacquiao's training camp and his sparring sessions from people that were actually there who watched the sparring. Now, because these are people who have somewhat of a relationship with Manny Pacquiao, obviously they want to remain anonymous. And any person like that, you know, has no reason to lie about what they basically told me. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the scoop. First things first, let's clear up one of the major rumors that we heard about. According to inside sources, it is a complete rumor that Manny Pacquiao broke Victor Postal's nose in sparring. Postal's nose was never broke at all. In fact, I've been told that Postal was one of many sparring partners they gave Manny Pacquiao a lot of problems in sparring, okay? I was told that with Postal's straight punches and his height, something that obviously Manny Pacquiao is trying to prepare for, gave Manny Pacquiao a lot of problems in sparring. I was told that Manny Pacquiao had a very hard time getting close to Victor. He was getting popped a lot, coming in, trying to close the distance. Now, another sparring partner that I was told gave Manny Pacquiao a lot of problems was Mike Jones. Now I'm told that Mike Jones, he really gave Manny Pacquiao problems to the point to where Freddie Roach sent Mike Jones home early. Now I'm told that Mike Jones gave Manny Pacquiao a lot of foot movement, which is obviously the whole point of preparing Manny Pacquiao because we know that Chris Algieri is going to give him a lot of foot movement. But what I've been told is that Mike Jones' foot movement gave Pacquiao a lot of problems. Mike Jones, he would, he would move around the ring and out of nowhere surprise Manny Pacquiao with attacks. I'm told that Manny Pacquiao, he had a very hard time trying to figure out when Mike Jones was going to attack. He was just really frustrated with the foot movement. Okay. Now, I know that sparring is not an actual fight. But at the same time, the reason why you spar is to prepare, to prepare for your opponent's style. If you haven't figured out your sparring partners that have the same style that your opponent has, you have to ask the question, how are you going to figure it out the night of the fight? Now, when it comes to Mike Jones, Mike Jones is the perfect sparring partner for Manny Pacquiao because he has the height, he has the long reach, he has the boxing ability and the foot movement. The only difference from Mike and Chris is Mike Jones, he has power. Okay, so that is a difference. The only question when, when it comes to Chris Algieri is can Chris Algieri keep Manny Pacquiao off of him with his lack of power? That will be the biggest question in this fight. But once again, you know, this is not a good sign when your sparring partners are getting the best of you, okay? It's not supposed to be, you're not supposed to have sparring partners that you just walk over every day, but you're supposed to at least figure them out to where you figured out the puzzle. You put the puzzle together and now you're dominating them, right? But once again, if you're still trying to figure out the puzzle by the end of the training camp, that's not a good sign. Okay, so we'll see. Once again, I want it to be very clear. I think Algeria has a very good chance to win this fight. But at the same time, there's another part of me that wants to see Manny Pacquiao win this fight just so I can see the biggest fight, Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao. So we'll see what happens. I'm on to the next one.